All right, we got a good one here for you. Hogan Park Golf Club Roadrunner Course. Now, I'm playing the white tees, which I usually play. However, on this course, the whites are in front of a yellow, a red, and then a blue. So these are, I think these are the women's tees. I have no idea. But we're going to try and take advantage. We're going to try and score. And we start off with a short par 5. And an okay drive will leave us about 220 away. A slicey little guy uh, over to the right. And I do remember thinking, man, I just bogeyed this. Because uh, I look at those scorpions. Those were scary. Because I hit this too far. And I'm like, crap, I bogeyed. But it's a par 5. And we almost birdie it uh, with that little chip. So ends up being a par. And now we get to some kind of easy holes. There are some bunkers kind of protecting this course, but overall, I really like this course for its ease of driving and ease of visual. Like, once you get past the rough, it's just desert, and so you can clearly see where you want to hit it and uh, just take a rip because most of the fairways were pretty reasonable. Oh, almost eagling but taking the birdie. You can see some pretty cool like uh, water f features and palm trees. I believe this said it was in Texas though, so double check me. What city is that in the background? Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, Austin. Another just like okay drive gets us to 87 in. And I go uh, straight arm to straight arm. And just miss another birdie. Dang it. Fourth hole sitting at minus one. Look at this pin placement. Super left. And again, just missing it. But these are fine shots. We're, in real life, we're killing our friends right now. A little bit of time on that one because it was so slicey. Uh, luckily, another sh short hole, so this is going to be only like 40 yards away. A really bad shot there and missing a birdie by about an inch from the rough. So, not taking advantage of that one. Still sitting at minus one. Could be at minus two if that would have went like just a little bit of a different direction. 336 yard par four. So this one's going to be about 100 away. And some of these, like the pins are pretty, they're not right in the center of the green or anything. So getting to some of the locations did require a good shot, but a standard par there and we're off to a par four. Not going to be able to get there even from the white tees. Pretty good layup though, and 60 yards remaining to try and get another birdie on the card. Came off dead straight, but way far. 12 yards too far somehow. A nice little bump and chip down the hill. We'll get another par on the card, and a short par 300 yards on the 8th hole here at Hogan Park. This one looks right on the pin. Spin back. Dang. 
that one a little too far as well. So surprising to be at minus one, to be honest. Uh, thought with a bunch of those short iron and wedge shots, we would be able to take advantage. This one also not a birdie is going to check up on the green for another par. So finishing the front nine at minus one and then trying to go for this green to start the back nine. Hit it really spinny. But we're going to have a pretty short shot in and we got to put this one close. get a good roll out and that's another birdie on the card so far minus two through ten onto the eleventh hole which is a reachable par five not driving the ball particularly well I'm seeing a lot of spinny low speed drives but um, not really needed from this yardage this pin location is ridiculous top front left right up next to it we're only going to have 22 yards away though for our third so let's put this one in there and get another birdie on the card heck yeah minus three through eleven three birdies and the rest pars so far A little fairway finder here on a short par four and we're gonna have 60 remaining another kind of tough pin location just sitting there in the front right good bounce off of the fringe and this one creeps in for a birdie which is pretty rare for me but moving to minus four through 12 13th hole tight draw on the way if distance is any good oh my gosh it checks up I thought we were going to get a little bounce there and get a, another birdie but 14th hole brings us another par 4 and a good 3 wood it looks like right on point with 100 yards remaining I draw that does not have the distance. Not sure what happened <laughs> on that one. Able to save par though on 14. Going to 15. We got some water in play now. Probably not on the drive unless I just go right at it safely along the left side here though there's another par 5 but we're only going to have 205 remaining a good opportunity oh starts right goes right still a really good opportunity for another birdie with a 25 yard chip to get it within 10 feet and I can do it so another birdie, minus 5 through 15. No bogeys on the card. So five birdies and the rest pars. We're playing the white tees at Hogan Park, which are kind of the, the front tees. Um, I didn't know that until I ruffled through them uh, later on. And it goes white, red, yellow, blue, maybe even black. Here again, though, on 16, roll that guy in there for a birdie. So all of a sudden, minus 6, going to the 17th hole. 17 and 18 are kind of my nemesis. This one almost got another birdie. That would have been really sweet to just drop that in there. Uh, but a par on 17. And luckily, no real danger of going in any sort of hazards here on 18. 
Uh, we are going to probably end up in the bunker. But no water. And with minus six, we're trying to find 143 to complete a bogey free 66. We get a good bounce and a roll onto the green. Thankfully, it could have kicked backwards or something. But look at that scorecard. Best one I've seen. Minus five on the back, by the way. So a really fun round for me. I believe that's my first clean round. Six birdies. Could have been at least one more that was just on the edge of the circle. And uh, I'm down, damn proud of that. That was the white tees at Hogan Park Golf Club Roadrunner course.